Welcome back to the Crypto's Key Conversation. Today's video, I'm gonna try to be as quick as possible. I've got a couple different video clips I'm gonna play from Digital Asset Investor and Wheezy X with a couple different tweets from JV and Jeremy Hogan that are quite interesting. Starting with this one from Digital Asset Investor, about five minutes and 51 seconds long, it says, Thursday, September uh, 15, 2022, at 10 a.m., Gary Gensler appears before Congress. ETHgate is real Congress. Gary can't pick and choose where he applies securities laws. The people deserve a level playing field. So let's take a quick listen into this. It's extremely powerful. And it's a lot of the stuff we've already seen. He just kind of pieced it together just beautifully. When somebody is raising money from the public. Ethereum started with a pre-sale and an ICO, which we'll be talking about, about 72 million Ethereum. Vitalik wanted to raise money. He was maybe 19 years old. He looped in with a venture capitalist from Canada, Joe Lubin, who now runs uh, Consensus. Uh, Lubin took about 10% or 9.5% of the offering. They put 9.5% in a foundation called the Ethereum Foundation, and the other 80% was sold to the public for $18 million. Um, we'll talk later in the semester as to whether that was really a securities offering. I publicly said I think so. The public gets to decide which risks they take. What our regime is about is about disclosure, making sure there's full and fair and truthful disclosure. Even President Roosevelt called it the Truth and Securities Act. Um, a person can, can buy uh, from the Federal Reserve Bank of the United States. We may limit the size, the, the unit size of a sale. Um, just to um, make it easier to disguise. Uh, Satoshi Nakamoto writes the white paper, Halloween night in 2008. He said, yeah, I want to go interview this guy. And at the time, we're like, hey, it's a figment of somebody's imagination. Maybe it's true. Maybe it's not true. So, you know, we had all this pushback from our headquarters. And we thought, hey, if an agent wants to go talk to him and we have some money, why don't we send him? Let's find out how this works. So as it came to be, the agents flew out to California and they realized that he wasn't alone in creating this. There were three other people and he, they sat down and met with them and talked to them to find out how this actually works and what their reason for it was. But well, what is the investing public doing? They're investing for a better future based upon the efforts of others. There's, there's websites you go to, there's you know, uh, medium posts that you read, there's crypto Twitter, uh, there's Reddit forums and, and, and places you can look for information. And it's about that common enterprise and that entrepreneurial uh, effort. And right here, he's showing the, uh, you know, the Facebook.com stuff, Ethereum blog, launching the sale. Uh, the ether cell has now started. It's taking place exclusively. Coming here to kind of click in and stuff. Uh, which is the hallmark of uh, uh, investment contracts, which are securities. And that we, the SEC, have a role to help uh, protect investors uh, and instill and, and enhance trust in these markets. So, if, if you are aware, if you want to plan on investing uh, several million US dollars worth, um, then you can do that in uh, the multiple entities. And when somebody is raising money from the public and the public anticipates a profit, a lot of cryptocurrencies do resemble securities. What's the next step? They, they don't just resemble, they are securities, Nick. They, securities. They, they are, they are. I mean, Thurgood Marshall, uh, a great Supreme Court justice, wrote in an opinion, and I think it was in the 1970s, that Congress painted with a broad brush to protect the public. And when somebody is raising money from the public and the public anticipates a profit. And I learned if you're a rich guy, you don't break the rules, right? So I was like, ah, but I could buy OTC. And so I end up, uh, calling Vitalik, I met once, didn't really know me, and I bought Ethereum from Vitalik. You OTC ETH from Vitalik? At 96 cents. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you how much, but it's not an insignificant amount. What? <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I started buying more OTC in the market. And so now I own a, a lot of Ethereum, uh, I'd call it $1.50, a, a lot. And, you know, I went away to India. I came back, 
it was trading at uh, two weeks later, it's trading at five or six. It started going up, and this is now March. And I realized Joe no longer needed my money because he owned a lot of Ethereum. Right, right. And, and it, you know, you don't want to arbitrage your friend. No. Uh, and I was thinking, how would I contribute? We have a very similar. Well, he has a much more technical skill set than me, but he's a good leader. He's a good speaker. And so I said, oh, I'm going to just cheer for him. And I'm just going to be a private investor. And I hired a young kid, a guy named John West, who was great. And he actually pretty much lived at the consensus office. I said, you can go live with those guys. And so it was fun to get a bird's eye view of the beginning. Even the Dow hack, we, uh, I was on the conference calls listening as the old wise guy, just thinking. Uh, and trading. I just have trading in my blood, and so I'd buy and sell, and Ether went to 20, I sold a bunch and bought it back at eight. If you have a desire to take your crypto and lend it, that you actually have some disclosures uh, that the, the service provider providing you that uh, interest. And remember, if somebody says reward or yield or interest or uh, return, the label doesn't matter. It's sort of it's similar to when you put your money with the money market fund and you say, well, they're going to give me a return. But then they actually have to disclose what they're doing with your money. Ecosystem that's developing largely on Ethereum. Um, we have lending borrowing systems. We have money market systems. We have payment systems. We have when so so as you can see, I mean, he kind of spliced together a good amount of content here, but we know if you've been following this, this channel, I mean, there's a lot more video content that could have been went into there, but he just kind of wanted to paint like a general consensus of just like the true shady nature in regards of uh, Gary Gensler's involvement in, in it all. But Ethgate is real and it's been quite evident. I wanted to put up this one from Weezy X as well. It says this is back in December 2014, Vitalik Buterin says Ethereum is not the... Um, what is that, the ILV? It says, a ripple is the it's internet of value. So let's take a quick listen into this. It's interesting. That's really what Ethereum is. You know, people talk, people talk a lot about things, uh, talk about cryptocurrency 2.0 being like the internet of value. We're not, no, we're not the internet of value. Ripple is the internet of value. We're not the internet of value. Ripple is the internet of value. We're not the internet of value. Ripple is the internet of value. We're... I mean... <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, this is back in 2014, but I mean, now we are in 2022. We're in the River vs. SC lawsuit. There's a lot of stuff happening. You have XLS 20, a lot of building, you know, wanting to be looking forward to be done is being done within the XRP ledger. It's, there's a lot of moving parts going on. And now we're gaining a lot of traction when it comes to this whole ETHgate stuff and the whole, uh, Gary Gensler resign hashtag Gary Gensler resign is trending. This is from JV shout out JV. Gary Gensler resign is popping up. Crazy stuff, man. I wanted to end on this one from Jeremy Hogan. It says, circle September 19th. Let me zoom in. Circle September 19th as the day we get to see most of the cards the parties are holding. Ripple v. SEC, the end game, is getting me excited. I'm weird like that. I'm going I'm to I'm leave you with that. The end game is getting is getting me excited, says Jeremy Hogan. With all that being said, that's what I have for you. Make sure you come to the Crypto is Key Conversation YouTube channel. Subscribe. Follow us on Twitter at Crypto is Key One. I really appreciate your support. With all that being said, stay strong out there. Be safe.